Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Welcome to you all. My name is Kimberly Waters and it is my absolute pleasure on behalf of everyone at Hyundai New Zealand to welcome you here on this special occasion. Despite the challenges we've faced over the last hundred or so days, I can't keep count, it is wonderful to be able to host a very small group of you here today in Auckland and have so many of you at home or in the office join us via the live stream to recognise this milestone not in only in our history but New Zealand's. The arrival of the Exigent fuel cell truck signifies the progression and application of hydrogen technology in New Zealand, particularly for the heavy transport sector. Today we'll cover off an overview of the hydrogen technology, the investment that Hyundai is making, the trials that these trucks will enter next year. We're also very fortunate to have the Honourable Michael Wood, Minister of Transport, with us today, who will address the importance of hydrogen in transport. We'll share some details on the specifics of the truck, and then we'll open the floor for questions. So without further ado, I'd like to pass over to Hyundai New Zealand CEO, Andy Sinclair. We've invited you here today to see and hear about our hydrogen-powered fuel cell truck, known as the Exient. And it's right here in front of me, behind all of you. It's not a drawing, it's not a concept, and it's no longer a dream. It's a fully functioning, on the road, heavy duty, working commercial vehicle that represents a shift in the energy paradigm away from fossil fuels to hydrogen. And it is a powerful solution to combating climate change here in New Zealand and around the world. Hyundai Motors has been investing in and developing hydrogen technology for over 20 years now and are proudly world leaders in fuel cell electric vehicle development, or FCEV for short. Hyundai has a global vision for hydrogen by 2040. That vision is to make hydrogen energy available to everyone, everything, and everywhere. The end result will be a totally carbon neutral solution brought about by a complete shift in the energy paradigm. Hyundai will apply fuel cell systems to all types of mobility. I've already seen hydrogen trailer drones, hydrogen performance sports cars, and hydrogen relief and rescue vehicles, along with the examples on the screen. And further out, the technology will be applied to all aspects of society, including homes, buildings, and power plants. It will provide a powerful and pragmatic solution to climate change. Hyundai plans to be the first global manufacturer to apply fuel cell technology across all of their commercial vehicles by 2028. And that isn't very far away. We at Hyundai here in New Zealand will be demonstrating five of these excellent trucks, which will be in service from around April next year. As a 100% New Zealand-owned distributor, we will be partnering with other New Zealand businesses who share a similar vision to us, to demonstrate FCEV in our market and to help accelerate the uptake of hydrogen technology here in New Zealand. It's incredibly exciting and shows real progress towards totally eco-friendly motoring and our country's commitments to climate change and global emissions targets. However, it cannot be done alone. 
It requires buy-in from government. It requires partnerships throughout the industry. It will need a lot of people and businesses, just like you all here today, working together across the chain to bring it quickly to everyday life. So a shout out to the many New Zealand companies involved in New Zealand hydrogen future, and especially to the help of ECA. Some of you are here today joining us, and certainly the momentum is building, and success is just around the corner. The launch of Accent today is a historic milestone. We're just the third country in the world to have access to these Exxon trucks, following Switzerland and, of course, South Korea. With our abundance of renewable energy resources, our government's drive for a green, sustainable environment and the fantastic support and momentum we enjoy from the private sector, we have a wonderful opportunity to help fast-track the green hydrogen economy as New Zealand's next major commodity. With our ability to produce green hydrogen fuel in abundance, hydrogen will also offer us a significant trade opportunity, as it is highly scalable and transportable. And almost every country is looking out for renewable energy solutions. So you can see why we're so excited about the excellent trial that will commence next year. And for you who are eagle-eyed, you'll see that we'll be using the Swiss specification trucks to get our program underway. We'll convert these trucks to New Zealand configuration over the next few months. The rest of the world is firmly behind hydrogen as a clean and sustainable energy platform, and now New Zealand. For all of us here today, we are in a position to benefit from Hyundai's hydrogen leadership and what will be a positive hydrogen future. I'm enormously excited to be here for the launch of Exeunt, and perhaps a little symbol of that is that this was pretty much my one slot to get my first haircut after six months, but I'd much rather be here as a part of this project. And I think for this to be, as Andy told us, only that for us to be only the third country in the world, alongside Korea and Switzerland, who currently has this piece of technology here, is a real vote of confidence in Hyundai New Zealand, and also the direction and the leadership that we as a country are taking in that mission that we all have to decarbonise our transport sector. For our government, this is quite simply one of the top priori priorities that we have. Uh, climate change is not something that's sitting out there in the future for us to be worried about. It's a challenge that is upon us as we speak. And the urgent need for us to transition our economy and our society to a decarbonised way of living is one that we need to take action on now to avoid catastrophic outcomes for ourselves and for future generations. And I'm really pleased about the commitments that we saw coming through in COP21 recently in that respect. In our transport sector, we face real challenges. Transport in New Zealand is our second largest emitter, around about 20% of our net emissions overall and 47% of our CO2 emissions. And the biggest challenge we face is that of all of the sectors Transport's had the worst trajectory over the last 30 years. Our emissions have increased by about 90%. And what the Independent Climate Commission tells us is that if we want to meet our targets of decarbonising our economy by 2050 and to get about halfway there by 2035, then we'll need to reduce our transport emissions by approximately 41% by 2035. More broadly, I'm enormously heartened uh, by the partnerships that I see forming up across the sector. We as a government don't believe that we're going to get to these outcomes just by a leave it to the market approach. We believe that the job of government is to set a clear framework and policies that are ambitious and drive us forward. But we won't get there unless we partner up across the public sector, across the private sector and across communities and NGOs who want to play a significant role here uh, as well. Hydrogen is the first chemical element on the periodic table. It is the lightest, most abundant, and roughly 75% of all matter, and it is one of the oldest elements in the universe. Here on Earth, hydrogen is found in more complex and not so complex co uh, molecules, like water. Although for hydrogen to be used in its pure form, it has to be extracted, and this can be achieved through green and eco-friendly processes. On the screen, you'll see a very basic illustration of a fuel cell stack. 
This is a collection of fuel cells, and the best way to describe them is wafer-thin type plates that are all neatly stacked together, and you can have as many as 400 of these cells in one stack. And as you can see, their size doesn't really matter, because even in this size, this little fuel cell here is able to produce a small amount of electrical current. One fuel cell can generate up to one volt of electricity. And as I previously mentioned, there are up to 400 cells in a fuel cell stack. So that's a potential 400 volts. There is no moving parts, no combustion. Fuel cells operate silently, no carbon emissions, extremely reliable and safe. Overall, the fuel cell operating principle and driving principle is that very similar to a hybrid electric vehicle of today. Instead of having liquid fuel tanks, we now have hydrogen gas tanks. Instead of having internal combustion engines, we now have fuel cell stacks. These systems are extremely modular. So if you want more power, you add more stacks. If you want to go further range, you simply add more tanks. I'll just kind of recap on those key points. So 350 kilowatt engine, so very, very powerful, uh, I should say, motor. Uh, now because we're talking electricity, not diesel. So a 350 kilowatt motor, so a very, very powerful motor driving this. But what we're trying to demonstrate here is this is a seriously heavy duty truck. It's not a toy, it's got an awful lot of power and it's built for very heavy and durable loads. Um, range, 400 kilometres from one tank of fuel, which is 31 kilograms of hydrogen. That's Auckland to Palmerston North in one trip. Um, and I think one of the other things that we perhaps don't think about is we've heard a whole lot of noise pollution while we've been sitting outside here. This is very, very, very quiet. So we're going to improve the quality of our life and environments with reducing noise. And for the operators, it's very uh, quiet, it's vibration free and obviously emission free. And really the big thing that we've all been talking about today is um, CO2 reduction. So each one of these trucks that goes on the road in place of a diesel equivalent is going to save us 50, 50 tonnes of CO2 per year, and that's based on an 80,000 kilometre um, typical um, commercial use. We're just going to have a quick walk around with the XN fuel cell truck. And the first thing I'd like to bring to your attention is these hydrogen gas fuel tanks that are actually mounted to the rear of the chassis. This is in its transportation position, and in a real application, these tanks will be vertically stacked right here, just behind the cab. Let's take a look at some of the key components of the fuel cell Exion truck. As it's powered by hydrogen, we have two fuel cell systems and powertrains located right here, just beneath the cab. This here is the fuel cell stack. We have the fuel processing system where the hydrogen gas goes into the fuel cell stack. And on the other side, we have the oxygen which when that electrochemical reaction takes place, gives us our byproduct of water molecules and water vapour. This section of the Exient fuel cell truck is sort of our power distribution centre, where we have a lot of high voltage systems here that need to provide electric, electrical power to our electric traction motor and our high voltage battery. Moving along, here we have the high voltage battery that forms part of the total fuel cell powertrain system. Rough weight is around 220 kilograms and it has an energy capacity of 72 kilowatt hours. In the centre here we have the EV traction motor. It is a very high capacity 350 kilowatt capacity motor and it's able to produce around 2,237 newton metres of torque. Coupled to that we have a six-speed Allison automatic transmission. In terms of safety, once these hydrogen tanks are stacked behind the cab, there are a series of fail-safes and monitoring systems to monitor for any hydrogen leaks. And here are a couple examples of that on top of the stacks as well. As soon as a leak is detected, the system will completely shut down and alert the driver at the same time. There are a few other auxiliary systems that need to be powered. For example, here is an auxiliary air compressor that, pow that provides the uh, compressed air required for our air suspension and our braking system. Over here we have a conventional uh, 24 volt battery. Again, all of this is purely charged through the high voltage system and through our low voltage DC converters. This section of the fuel cell powertrain is basically our cooling system bay. Here we have a whole series of radiators and coolant, coolant 
and this provides the cooling and thermal management systems required for the fuel cell stack due to that electrochemical reaction. It does create a bit of heat and that stack needs to be cooled and monitored. Same is to go with the high voltage battery and our electric motor and as well as our automatic transmission system. When the tanks are vertically stacked behind the cab, our refueling receptacle will be situated here. And just for the sake of showing you what it looks like, the operating pressure of these tanks is up to 350 bar, which gives it a pretty good refueling time benefit in the sense that the lower pressure enable that tanks to be refueled in a much quicker capacity and a faster turnaround. So what I'm going to do now is just jump in, power up the fuel cell Exeunt truck, and you'll be able to hear for yourself just how quiet it is. So right now the truck is running and we're almost ready to go and hit the road. Alright, ready to roll. Not a scratch on it. <laughs> so once again, thank you to those of you here in Auckland who were able to join us today and to those of you streaming. I trust that you gain a lot of insight in Hyundai's investment both globally and locally in hydrogen technology, the benefits of the application of this technology in the heavy transport sector and the trial that we're about to embark on. It's been a lot to us to be able to share this moment with you all and we trust you'll follow our journey over the coming months as we start to see these trucks on New Zealand roads.